guys, you know the holidays, Christmas, Thanksgiving, it should be a really fun, spontaneous time of year, but it can be really nerve wracking for any of those with eating disorders, any people in recovery. Two days ago in therapy, I document my anorexia recovery. Part of that is being honest about what goes on in therapy, what I'm working on that week. And what happened was I realized in every single area of my life, I am so rigid and controlling. There was just that lack of spontaneous vibe, spontaneous energy. And if you guys are struggling with eating disorders, I'm pretty sure that's probably the same thing in pretty sure that's probably the same thing. Nice choice of tongue twisters, Jax. Tip of the teeth, the tongue lips. Pretty sure that's something you guys struggle with too, just getting stuck in your routine and obsessing about just needing to know exactly what's gonna happen throughout the day. Anyway, what I decided with my therapist two days ago was the goal was to do one spontaneous thing this week, one thing that's different, but I'm like, listen up, Linda. I'm gonna commit to this, okay? I'm gonna force myself out of my routine. So I have started this advent calendar challenge where I'm gonna be doing this every second video or so, so every second or every third, to really push myself out of my routine. And what I've done is I've written on 50 different pieces of paper. I've written some, my family have written some, my friends have written some, I've had strangers write down ideas, on little envelopes, put it in a jar, and I'm gonna be drawing out three things that I have to do that next day, because I think I might need a day to plan if I have to go somewhere far, but their activity, their foods, their lunches, their dinners, their every single thing that I could come up with. A lot of them, I know my mom's put in a few activities that I don't like doing, she does what she does like doing, so I might have shot myself in the foot with that one. Anyway, and maybe you guys can do this challenge with me. Maybe I can throw you guys a curveball, something that you weren't expecting to do that day and you have to do anyway. It always helped me when others did my challenges with you, me, and I hope it helps you guys get out of your comfort zone. And if this is something you find helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. Comment in the comment section what you think should go into the advent calendar, whether it's an activity, a hobby, a task, I don't know, something fun. I've just had to bake something now for the last literally three hours okay I don't want to know what my kitchen looks like but let's get ready and see what the heaven calendar gods have chosen for us suspenseful music playing in the background she looks into the camera all right so here are about 50 different things written down some of it is food some of it is food places some of it is recipes some of it is just activities to do it's like a you yeah, know, just a mashup. I've written half, my family's written half, friends have written some. I have no idea what half of these are. They all put it in these little envelopes. So I'm gonna shuffle said envelopes. Okay. Once envelopes have been shuffled, I feel like if you, you like narrate it like that, it sounds so much more fancy. Gonna put it in this, just again. Shuffle you some more. It's like every day I'm shuffling. Do, 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 do. Okay, and then I'm gonna draw out three. Cause we gotta plan for tomorrow. You know, I gotta know if I'm planning for something. And then these three things are gonna be what I have to do in one day all together. So if it's three dinner things, didn't think that through Jacks now, did we? First thing, okay. Can you read that? Get a bath bomb. So we are going to go to Lush to get a bath bomb. Cool beans. So then that gets thrown away because we can't have any repeats because it's like an outfit repeat, which I do all the time. Done. Oops. Number two. I'm get a donut. I would have gotten one anyways. Okay, me likey so far. Bath bombs and donuts. Nothing. Wait, was that in this envelope or this one? That was this one. You are finished. You're washed up, and no one wants you anymore. Okay. idea this is really fun okay get a festive drink 
So that's like gonna be a pumpkin spice latte or something. Maybe I'll find something different, but seeing that I can now say I love pumpkin spice lattes, that is exciting. Oh, maybe a latte and a donut at the same time. No, 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 one can't over thunder and overcrowd the other because they're both really exciting. Done. Is it possible for a girl to walk out of Lush without having some of the powder from the bath bombs on her nose? I either have glitter from smelling the too, too many glittery bath bombs and it just transfers onto you, or I just have funny boop on my nose. But anyway, because those are all for tomorrow, I was like, in case I'm planning a big breakfast, I need to know where to go, what to do. So that's done, and let's check in when we start our day tomorrow. What am I gonna start my day with? Trying to sleep, but the silence is haunting this room every night. I can stand to feel this way. My body's screaming out your name. Didn't want to say goodbye to you, bye to you, but you're gone. Oh, I wish the sun. morning is all good I haven't had my coffee yet and I usually film after Boris come I usually film after I have my coffee but I did this one in the beginning was that a little bit too optimistic so I'm gonna and everyone that's like oh I need stimulants to be friendly in the morning don't know don't know I had the bagel for breakfast this morning so I had the bagels with the banana I should have mashed the banana but I was so lazy and tired that I wanted to mash the banana to put on top with some peanut butter and some honey or agave. If you're vegan, use that. But those bagels have been one of my biggest fear foods. And so I'm trying to add them more. There are days where I'm just not feeling up to adding them. And you know, I have some high days, some low days, some days where I'm like, yeah, let's do everything you can eat for my help. Other days I'm like, oh, oh no. We're like, oh no, Boris. But anyway, I'm trying to push myself more and more and more so that every single meal I'm uncomfortable. And once that stops being uncomfortable, then I'll find the next thing that I need to challenge. But I'm always working on something. Oh, I need my human juice. But anyway, I'm going to go shower and then check in with you guys when it's snack time. And then we've got our advent calendar today. We've got to get our donut and we've got to get our festive drink. Oh, it's an exciting day. I've got a few meetings to run to. I've got a lot of computer work to do, so I'm gonna be doing all of that. But that breakfast actually keeps me full for quite a while. It's still a very nerve wracking breakfast for me. But um, like I said, if I feel really comfortable at a meal, I know that I'm not pushing myself to be that person I wanna be in five months time or so. I know that anytime you're comfortable, it means you're happy where you're at now. And I don't want to be where I'm at now in X amount of time. I'm fighting to be that free human being that doesn't worry about what's in my food or that doesn't give two craps what's in the cupboard for breakfast because I'll eat anything. Seeing that I'm not there yet, like I said, I know that comfort is pretty much the one thing I don't want right now. So I've got a meeting to go to before lunch. I've been snacking on these almonds over here, just like a bit of a handful of almonds, but I want something a bit more sweeter and satisfying before I go. So, last time I got the white chocolate macadamia nut because white chocolate and macadamia nut is my favorite, like Subway Dough cookie, my absolute favorite. But a lot of you recommended the oatmeal and raisin cookie. Now, of course, this set of serving size is half a cookie, but learn to ignore that. And I wasn't actually going to eat a cookie now or like a bigger snack. I was just like, ugh, I'll be fine over the almonds. But I'm actually currently working on this intuitive eating book. And it's just learning how to reassess hunger signals, hunger cues, it makes you so aware of your own body, like it's amazing. It's amazing the way it teaches you. I will do a whole video on intuitive eating if that's what you guys want. If you want to know more about the book. Um, but I was instructed by a group of you to put it in the microwave before eating it. 
So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Oatmeal and raisin, by the way, used to be one of my favorite, but... And a pink plate. Look at that. Oh my gosh, yes. Bang, bang, baby. What I'm trying to do more now, just to get outside of my comfort zone, is push myself at snack times, and just because I know I've got to get a donut today, and I've got to go to, oh, balls. And I've got to get a festive drink. There isn't any excuse to not actually have my snack, because for example, if I decided not to have my snack, then this whole challenge wouldn't be worth it. And I say that every single video. It's not the same. Christmas drinks? Christmas drinks? Yeah. Yes, ma'am, we have ma'am. Uh, which ones do you have? Ma'am, we have a gingerbread latte. I please have a gingerbread latte with almond milk. Yes, ma'am, no problem, ma'am. Ma what size? Uh, a Large? Can I have a um, medium? Medium size? Yeah. And then can I also have a what cookies do you have? Actually, can I have a sugar glazed donut, please? Sugar glazed donut, ma'am? Yes, please. Okay, so after lunch, I went to go get my bath bomb for Lush. I came out smelling like a perfume shop or a soap shop. I came out with glitter all over me. It was bad. But it's the Low Fairy now. Low Fairy now? It's the Snow Fairy. The end was gone. Bath bomb, and it's the best thing I've ever taste, like, smelt, tasted. Like, you feel, it feels like it makes you salivate because it's got a really sweet smell. Anyway, I thought I killed two birds with one stone. I say that I absolutely hate that phrase because when you visualize it, it's gross. It's horrible. I went past Costa and they have finally gotten their Christmas mugs in and I got a gingerbread latte, which I've never tried before. It was my mom's favorite drink a year ago, but again, I was just too scared to join in then. And you get a freaking gingerbread man with it. How cute is that? And then I got to show you the lid. The lid for it is an actual gingerbread man, and that's it. But, me see. Oh, that's good. That is really nice. Oh, oh wait. Trax, you're an absolute genius. Cookie. Gingerbread. A gingerbread cookie and a gingerbread latte. Oh my god. Genius. Oh. 
Oh, that's a good cookie. I mean, mm, it's good. And then, because I don't have a lot of time today, I was like, let me do the donut too. Now, this is the Costa Glazed Donut. I've not tried their glazed donut before. I'm such an OG Krispy Kreme person. Like, I can't imagine this replacing Krispy donut and coffee. I feel like a New York City cop. You know, like, you know, one of those sitcoms. Uh huh. No. Too cakey. But I'll eat it. The touch of your hand. Love you with all of my heart. Makes me tremble within. Love the smell of your hair. this on so I don't spill myself while I drink and drive. <laughs> don't drink and drive, kids. Unless it's a coffee, then you can totally drink and drive. I like that a lot. Like, I love, I'm obsessed with the taste of gingerbread. Like, wait till you see what I've got at home. I'm obsessed. But, um, actually, in all seriousness, so I had a bit of a, this is something obviously very personal and private that I'm going to share right now, but I had a bit of a breakdown yesterday. I went to go see my therapist. I do go to therapy once a week. I think anyone in recovery, you do need to. You can't do it on your own. <laughs> I sound like such an asshole. You can't do it on your own. No, but you do need the help of someone. And I had a breakdown and I was just like, you know, I want to be that girl that, that, you know, when you walk into a bar and you see a girl having a burger and having a beer and she's just like the most carefree, loudest person at the table. And I'm like, I'm so envious and jealous of that person. And she was just like to me, Jax, there, you can't compare yourself to her because you have burgers on camera. You have burgers in front of people. You smile and you eat the burger, but how you feel before and after is what you don't usually show people. For example, if I looked at my own Instagram page, I would think that I was having the perfect recovery. If I only watched my videos, I think everything was easy. I was doing challenge after challenge after challenge, but you don't see the challenges where like the sun-dried tomatoes were sitting in the fridge for three weeks because I couldn't bring myself to open it or I had put off doing my skinny confidential video because I was so scared of that mac and cheese. And then finally when I build up the courage to do a challenge, then you guys see it. But it was the whole thing, we always compare our real life to someone else's highlight reel. For example, having a latte now, having this, it has been an absolute, when I say it has been so difficult and so overwhelmingly exhausting getting to this point. So if you think, you know, one day, or, you know, if ever you feel, oh, recovery must be easy for them. Oh, they have an easier recovery. My, I'm different, you know. I can't do a fear food challenge because it's harder for me right now. It's actually hard for all of us and it's actually equally as difficult for the girl you see eating the burger than the girl you see don't eating the burger. The only difference that you see is just the the drive to do it, but it doesn't mean there's any less anxiety there. And I just, I don't know if that helps any of you guys to know that it's okay to feel crazy and to back out. It's okay to do that as long as you just stand back up and you try and do that challenge again. The amount of times before I filmed my first challenge that I tried and I failed and I failed and I failed and I failed and I didn't stop trying. That was what made the difference for me between my actual recovery and quasi recovery. It's quasi recovery, I treat every slip up like a failure. Now I treat every single time I chicken out as a reason to keep trying and as a challenge to try again. I feel like such an absolute cliche. I should be a damn for I like I should be a fortune cookie right now. You know, fall off the horse seven times, get up eight times. That's a wisdom. So anyway, I've got a meeting to run to now, seeing that I'm gonna keep sipping on my coffee. Apparently, I'm from Boston and I like to say coffee is coffee, which is absolutely ridiculous, Jax. And then I'm gonna see you guys when we have dinner tonight because I'm not cooking dinner. If I might feel hungry for a snack later on, I'll show you guys, but to be honest, those lattes I think it's the syrup in it that I'm not used to. It fills me up, homeboys. I used my bath bomb. It was absolutely freaking amazing. My mom's cooking dinner for us tonight. And while she's cooking dinner, you guys know that I've been drinking my Insure every single day. So I'm having that. 
And then I got this, okay, and I got it like a week ago and I thought I wouldn't like it. I was like, I'm just getting it because there's gingerbread on it. It's gingerbread man dairy milk chocolate. You can see I've like smashed through this whole thing. Actual gingerbread biscuits in it. Guys, this is just what dreams most are made out of, but so good. So, so, so good. Mm. Just so you know why today's been a particularly difficult day for me. I had my weekly weigh-in. Once a week I do have my weigh-ins and I'm on a program where I'm gaining half a kilo to a kilo a week and I it's always difficult when you see the number going up and it just means I've just got to trust my body right now. I've got to trust that this is what it's supposed to do and keep drinking my drinks. Just because I had my Costa today does not mean I compromise because if I did compromise later on in the day then the challenge isn't worth it. That's the challenge itself. It's not actually drinking the Costa. It's not compensating throughout the rest of the day because I did. But right now is just being at peace with the fact that the thoughts exist, but that doesn't mean they have any say and control in my life. And I don't know if that's helpful to anyone that the thoughts are still there. But like I said, I've just made peace with the fact that, okay, you're there in the corner of that room, but you're not controlling my life anymore. And that's just the way it's like a weird inner dialogue that I have with myself, but that's that. So I'm gonna check in with you. We're gonna go see what she's cooking in the kitchen just now. <laughs> We have got some wine infused, so these um, these mushrooms were reduced in wine. We've got some honey glazed carrots to go with it, some glazed beetroot. We've got some puree over here with some sour cream. We've got a sweet glaze over here and then potatoes. Mom, what are you doing? I'm eating a tomato. <laughs> what you cooking? Good looking. Well, when you guard the kitchen, I'll cook it properly. We're going to this side. No, it's one and each side. <laughs> Basically, we're having six. Cooked, I can do an over the shoulder shot. That's okay. In butter. Tiny bits. Just for the taste. A salad that has sun dried tomatoes, mozzarella, and just one less tomato. She was a tomato. Potato, steak, bread, mushrooms, and then just like everything else. in that jar and I'm actually excited to draw out the next three for the next episode but if it was let me know if you did any of them down below if you got a bath bomb from Lush if you did anything fun and different anyway I'm gonna see you guys in my next video Mwah.